Hello and welcome to a new sandbox video. It's number 37. Today we are going to play Vio, of course, in sandbox and the advanced role of the sheriff. I'm going to be an RRV in this setup because the seer and the aura seer are fixed. How are you guys doing? I want to know that uh, it's cool to chat a little bit more in these type of videos because if I'm going to make more of these, then perhaps it's also a good opportunity to talk a little bit more about other stuff than what just happens in the game itself because well clearly the game is not always as active when we are playing a sandbox game. So something that I can mention that happened recently well as of recording this video I just signed up but yeah there is a Vulso tournament going on an official one in the discord server and I just signed up I'm curious to see what the quality is last year there was also one I was not doing too hot in that one, though I did get unlucky, I can remember as Corruptor because one player uh -huh, <laughs> kind of threw. And the other time I was like Beast Hunter, I was pretty clutch but not good enough. And the other time, the first game, I didn't have that much impact I believe. But yeah, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen this year, I'm really uh, hyped to see, to see that and hopefully I can make a video about it as well. In terms of the game, there's no RV claims, really. There are two Aura series, so technically that is one RV as well. But it is a, a known RV, because they're a forger and they're dead. Now I'm the other RV. I am checking free here, you cannot really see it, but I'm going to indicate that free is not a villager. It is the gambler side icon, but I think it is a little bit complicated to mark it as like not villager as Vio because I could use like the the sad or the, the happy emoji but yeah you would have to put it in context with who you're gonna check of course every time that differ is different so yeah that's why I just did a non-villager so we found three here uh, apart from that two has checked five as evil five claims that they have checked uh, 16 which is always a little bit suspicious of course so five has been double suspicious so far one is checked unknown last day but yeah since there's not much information going on right now apart from mine and i am still technically not really trusted but yeah they're just gonna go for free now because i called them evil and they haven't really done anything against it so yeah that never helps when you're werewolf if you're a werewolf and you're exposed always fight always fight and this is not even a case of being werewolf this is a case of being cannibal so that helps because the werewolves are more likely to vote a cannibal out than a fellow werewolf, usually. Here I check 13 as a not villager because I am comparing here against 11, which which the game apparently counts as, as a villager. And 13 is also called unknown. Meaning they are the voting role or the alpha werewolf in this case. Then is exposed kitten wolf and this kitten wolf is gonna play an important role later on in this match. Now it seems like 13 is the best option to go for because yeah well <laughs> who else would we go for? Why would we go for the kitten wolf that's just literally handing the werewolves the win? 15 is getting the votes here and claims Butcher. I refuse to vote the Butcher because it's the only claim. But sadly they do die. Also you just saw that the Conjurer took Vigilante. 12 is Conjurer. And shot the Alpha Werewolf which I did call as evil. So I think, well it, it's probably the better move because we kind of did need to shoot someone or well we kind of need to bullet at some point but shooting 13 is probably the worst idea here i could have shot like at daytime too but i guess it's also conserving like it's also making sure that the bullet is getting used i guess five is now exposed as wolf seer which is going to be good for us that means that two is confirmed villager also that's what i checked we can now Lynch 5 safely, though there is still a Guardian Beowulf in the game and they have not saved yet, so 5 is probably gonna get saved. If I were to be the Guardian Beowulf, I would definitely save 5 here. 
So since one is checked unknown, they are likely the voting role here because nobody else is really friend this voting role. Nobody is checked Guardian Wolf, so my suspicion is that 14 is Guardian Werewolf here. There are votes on two. These are definitely the evils, and 14 is one of them. So yeah, you can already see that 14 is basically an exposed evil here. But nonetheless, 5 is luckily dead, and that means that we were one step closer to victory. But of course, this would not be a juicy sandbox video if nothing is gonna happen anymore. Here goes the Quadruer, by the way, and they took the Flower Child. Yeah, there's not really that much, apparently, useful to take. 14 is exposed to Guardian Werewolf. We know pretty much everything right now, except for one, I guess. But yeah, that could be Headhunter, that could be Fool. It doesn't really matter, we're gonna avoid one anyways. And we do kinda need one to be on our side, but they currently are not. And what happens is we getting a tie, of course, because it's a free versus free vote there. You can barely see it because, yeah, I have those masks with the rolls and the colors above it, but yeah. I hope that uh, you enjoy that, and I'm going to do that with the tournament video as well, by the way, because I want to make a video of the tournament games or multiple videos. I might frame them as ranked videos, who knows. And uh, yeah, this looks pretty lost at this moment as well. But yeah, I want to make those videos with this style and format as well, and then commentate over it later. Because when I am commentating live when playing, uh, <laughs> I usually play worse, so I'm definitely not doing that. Also, there is a slight chance that I might not be able to record it on PC or one of the games. I hope I will be able to record every single game that I play in. And we'll see how it goes. And here, by the way, we make an interesting choice. But we are voting the Kitten Wolf, and you may ask why. Well, we as villagers, basically two and I, have seen that it's pretty much a chanceless game here for us to win with the village. So what we hope is that the werewolf is gonna convert us and not the other, so that we can still win with the werewolves. That is really strange, and it's kind of game throwing if you think of it. But what's the most surprising thing is I'm not getting converted. And the game isn't over yet either, which indicates that there are no two werewolves, but just one werewolf. And how come? Well, 14 just did decide to not vote anyone at all, because they are coupled. And I totally forgot about the existence of the couple when playing this game. And there goes two, and now I am against a Guardian Werewolf slash solo voter couple. And yeah, I'm just surrendering here because, well, yeah, I, I'm still voting one, but it doesn't really even matter. They did play this pretty well. Our bet on the Kitten Wolf sadly did not pay off, but it's a very interesting scenario in which we surrendered to the Kitten Wolf, hoping that we would be the one to be converted. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick episode, and... Perhaps I will see you in the tournament. If you loved what you just saw, then make sure to check out this juicy video I have here for you. You can also subscribe and turn on epic notifications to never miss a future upload. My social links, including Discord server, are in the link tree. Link is in the description. I will see you later, and don't be a traitor.